Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Uh, we're going to be doing a Cinema 4D R13 tutorial today. Uh, we've usually do uh, done Photoshop, but today I'm going to make it different today. So um, what we're going to do is the Effector tab right here. As you can see, we're going to be go to MoGraph and then go to Effector. Uh, there's all these different kind of effectors. So I'm not going to make these all in one video. I'm going to do like a little series with each of them having their own one video. So um, today uh, I'm going to show you probably the most useful, well maybe not the most useful, but probably the most common uh, effector used. It's called the step effector. So um, what you're going to do is just make a new project, go to MoGraph, go to MoText, and we'll just wait that uh, to load. And then we go to, we'll align this, we'll go to middle. And then you're going to want to align your camera. Make sure that it's really nice and flat and really just pretty much straight as you can get. Like so. Okay. So now what you're going to do is we'll just name it tutorial. Oops. No idea what I just did there. Okay. Uh, tutorial and just give it a whatever font you want so like that's that's fine it doesn't really matter about the font it just really matters about the effector and what it can do so we'll just make it like that it can be bold oh that's good okay so what you're gonna do is it's really nice and simple you're just gonna select the text and then you're going to go to MoGraph and then Effector and then you're gonna go to your step and it's already doing something already so where if it's not if scale is not checked already uncheck that and then go to position and then rotation and then what you're gonna do is leave the X and Y value the same and you're gonna go to the Z and we'll put it to minus 400 and it's looking like that so you can it just matters of where your camera angle is so you can put it to if you want it completely off the screen you can do something like I don't know like 10,000 and then you can just go to a factor like this and just drag it off the screen okay but we're not gonna do that today we're just gonna make this quick okay so we're just gonna put it to a nice 50 sorry we'll put it a little bit more probably like 200 that's fine and then um, you're gonna go uh, want to go to the frame that you are gonna have the um, them like maybe it goes back to normal back to straight maybe like uh, slam onto a surface so we'll actually just do that really quick so we will make it big enough and then tall enough and then We'll just keep readjusting it until it matches up. We're not really going to care about the... Okay, actually we will. And just put it right on and just maybe a little bit in. Okay. So now it's sort of like this right now. So what you're going to want to do is go back to your step, uh, step effector. And then from where the... So go to the beginning, uh, zero frame. And then you see this little square outline. You're gonna hold Control and then left click, and it'll make a keyframe. And then you're gonna go to we'll say 60 frames, and then you'll just do zero, so it's back to normal. And then do the same thing, Control and left click. So it's already like that kind of thing. So it just sort of doesn't uh, a nice easy slam onto the surface. And then you can always put on some rotation of some kind so just go to your liking so I guess that's fine so 22 degrees we'll do 25 and then just do the same thing uh, hold control and left click right there and then go to 60 frames and then control and left click oh sorry put it to zero and then control and left click and it should be back to normal and then you'll have something like this so guys, you can do a lot of stuff with this. 
Uh, it's all up to your imagination. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was quick tip of the week, and we're going to be doing seri a series on this for each effector in here. Uh, so there's going to be quite a few videos for this. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I do hope that you will subscribe, um, like, and comment. I'll see you guys later.